I think we all understand at this point that Twitter is perhaps the last bastion for radical free speech. You can say whatever you want, and you're not gonna get like the boot of the man on your neck or anything. Unless you wanted to say the word cis or cisgender. Did you know that those are slurs now? I, like many people, found that out today. There's this guy, James Esses, who had tweeted yesterday after posting a tweet saying that I reject the word cis and don't wish to be called it. I receive a slew of messages from trans activists calling me sissy and telling me that I am cis whether or not I like it. Just imagine if the roles were reversed. Well, because James Esses is whining about trans people and pays $8 a month to the richest man in the world, he gets live instantaneous customer service from the richest man in the world, who replied to him, repeated targeted harassment against any account will cause the harassing accounts to receive at minimum temporary suspensions. The words cis and cisgender are considered slurs on this platform. To which James Esses says, thank you for standing up for reality, Elon. I don't know what James thinks that statement means. How is this a stance for reality? The words exist, they've been around a while, and whether you like them being applied to you or not, they are, they do apply, they do. That's just, that's the reality. Words have meanings, and it's not necessarily always up to you. Now, if you don't want people to be sending the words sissy to you, I understand that. If you don't want people to bombard you with the word cis, accurate though it is, then I understand that. After all, I generally think that you should refer to people the way that they like. But the idea that on this bastion of free speech, you cannot use medical words like cis or cisgender in relation to people if they whine enough about it to a right wing billionaire. That seems to undercut the free speech thing just a little bit for me, Mondale, but what do you think? Uh, I'm confused, Like, I mean, like a slur is a, is a word that will harm someone's like character or their like their standing in, in society. A slur is an, a name that's used to mean meant to harm folk. I mean, like cis, cis and cisgender are not slurs. And the idea, this is just another, this is just another uh, to to take a take a name or a book from Ron DeSantis. This is the anti woke mob again, mad that we're not sleep about life. <laughs> this is the anti woke mob at their business. Yeah, I, I just, it's <laughs> the thing about Elon Musk, we were talking about this in the production meeting. Like, it just, it's impossible to pin him down on what his politics is. You know what? He's an enigma, really. He's a mystery. You don't know. Some people say that he's right wing, but you don't know that. You don't know that. I mean, he takes all sorts of different positions. He responds to all sorts of different people online. And when I look over uh, people with blue checks online, I can't tell if they have anything in common. They just represent a wide swath of humanity. All of this is ridiculous. But you want something more ridiculous? Uh, the rabbit hole, uh, an account that pays $8 a month to the richest man in the world, uh, tweeted out, it's true. We had a poll on this, sample size was over 50K, is cis a slur? Which is a ridiculous thing to say, to imply that that's a sample size for a Twitter poll from a right winger. But what makes it even more ridiculous is genius billionaire Elon Musk replies, people overwhelmingly reject this obvious slur that bigots are trying to impose. What in the hell is going on? He doesn't even need to pretend to have a functioning brain anymore. These are not new words. I know that people are claiming that because his chat, his messages are filled with people like this Katie Savage. It's a slur, a contemptuous word meant to demean people who are normal. It's, I don't like, I get that you think it's bad or whatever. It just has a definition. It means that your gender identity lines up with your sex assigned at birth. It's not a moral thing, it's not a judgment, it's just a word and words are true. Like word definitions don't care about your feelings is how I would probably place that if I were a right wing grifter. Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Casts or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want, with a range of co-hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.